Have you ever heard of the Ajaz AK992 mechanical keyboard? No, me neither, but honestly, I think this is very impressive. Stay tuned to find out why. I found this on Amazon, currently priced at $89.99 in the UK at the time of recording. For those in the US, that's around $113. US This is a fully mechanical keyboard with three mode connectivity, wired, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, gasket mounted, and also has a few extra features that we're going to take a look at in this video. There is a few renditions of this keyboard. You can also get it in various colors and with different attachments. The one we have here has baby blue keycaps and it has Ajaz's own green switches. These are like the Gatoron and the Razor switches. They're very clicky and tactile. As you can see, the keyboard looks fantastic. It feels really nice and firm in the hand. It doesn't creak or anything like some cheaper plastic products or cheaper plastic keyboards do. You've got your connection switch on the left hand side. There's three modes there. We'll take a look at those in just a moment. We've got a volume dial on the right hand upper corner, which is really nice. It includes some extra keycaps. We get some yellow accent ones here. We get a space bar and some crucial keys your arrows, the enter, escape, and a couple more. They're nothing special, they feel the same as the ones on the keyboard, but they're certainly a nice addition. We also get a key switch puller, which is metal, and then a key cap puller, which is plastic, and four of Ajaz's own green switches. Like I mentioned earlier, these are pretty similar to razors and Gatorons. Most impressively, we get a coiled cable, an aviation cable. This is pretty good, it's from Mamba Snake, and these are around 15 pounds, 20 pounds, on their own so i was really impressed to see that this was included i actually already own a couple of these as for the keyboard's construction it's pretty good it's slim from the front end with the ajaz logo on the right hand side some of the major components used in the construction is the plastic top cover the satellite switches which are basically stabilizers then we've got some positioning plates some eva sandwich material which is the dampening material the switch pad and then some more sound absorbing material under the PCB. Then we've got the gasket silicone covers and then the bottom case. This all adds to the satisfying sound that you get from each keystroke. On the back we've got the USB Type-C port. The port is set back slightly, similar to the Razer ones that secure the lead in place. The whole keyboard weighs 112 grams and it's got two kickstand feet that can sit in two positions three positions in total if you have them closed. They're quite stiff so they lock in place, they won't close accidentally. You've also got this cable management channel which comes from the USB port and you've got that down the left or the right side so it's giving you options when trying to cable manage which is really nice. You've also got several rubber grips along the bottom of the keyboard which stops it from slipping around and like I said the feet are really snappy, they're quite stiff so they shouldn't close accidentally on you. On the right hand side of the keyboard we've got a USB receiver, this just slots in and out, it's got a magnetic connection, it's quite easy to pull out and when you pop it in it doesn't seem like it's very secure but if you tip the keyboard upside down you can see it's fairly secure, it won't just drop out on its own very easily. The volume dial in the upper right corner is another nice addition, it's a metal dial, you can feel all the notches when it's turned. The keystrokes sound very impressive and very satisfying while typing. I'll leave a quick demonstration of them now. Very satisfying to type with. Guys, can I just take this opportunity to ask if you enjoy my content at all or you find value in the information in the videos, then please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It really helps us grow. We're approaching a thousand subscribers now, which is crazy. As a thank you, this is a photo of one of my dogs. This is Sky. She's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Back to the video then. Another huge reason I really like this keyboard is because it's very similar to the one I'm currently using. It's the same size, the same key layout. I'm even using the same cable but a grey one. On to the setup now then. Take the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth dongle and pop that in your PC. And make sure that the switch on the left hand side of the keyboard is in the Wi-Fi position. And then you hold the FN and the R button. And now you can see the RGB is on on the keyboard. Let me just try the space bar to make sure that we're working. 
Yes, we're working. Okay, that's fantastic. So that's fine with Wi-Fi. So let's go to cable mode then. Yep, that works fine in cable mode. And then go to Bluetooth mode. No, it's not working. Oh, I've turned Bluetooth off. Turn Bluetooth back on. And try now. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just have a little mess around with some of these keycaps. These can all be changed. We've got some blue, some baby blue, and some yellow keycaps included. These are really cool. I think we should probably turn off Bluetooth a moment, just so the keyboard doesn't start doing crazy stuff. The keycap puller and the switch puller both work absolutely fine. These switches have a very nice actuation force and they're very tactile. So these all come out nice and easy. Very user friendly. Now the industry standard says that these can be changed around a hundred times before they start to become less effective. But um, I mean to be honest you're not going to change it that many times anyway. Also, this is a good opportunity to look inside the keyboard. You can see just inside there, we've got that black rubber material. It's like um, a soft foam. And then you've also got our clear acrylic base there. And then inside, again, you can see some of the black material deeper down. So it's got two layers of that. It's got that nice dampened sound. The LED diodes are north facing, which is why I think they may be a little dim. This is one of the drawbacks for me. We'll talk about that in a moment. Okay then, so let's pop these back in then. They click in really nicely as well. This keyboard is very easy to customize. You could even customize things further if you really wanted to. I took it into a few games as well. I played a few hours of Zombies and some Fortnite and Call of Duty with this and it was, as I expected, it performed perfectly fine. No latency or no issues whatsoever. It performed exactly as I would expect for a gaming keyboard during my gaming sessions. The RGB is also customizable by holding the FN button and the cycle button. You can change through several modes. You can also use the arrow keys to change colors and to turn the brightness up and down. This is one of the major flaws on this keyboard for me. The brightness of the RGB isn't as bright as I would like. It isn't as bright as any of my other keyboards. It's not a deal killer for me personally. But it's something to bear in mind and maybe the developers could work on that for the next model of this keyboard. My overall thoughts for this keyboard is with all of the accessories that are included, they're a massive win. The keyboard quality itself is pretty good overall, especially in the price range. The features that it offers are all premium features from the cable management, the kickstand feet, the volume dial and the key switches. 
Everything about the keyboard is pretty nice. It's a nice sleek and slim design and I really enjoy using this. It has a 4000 mAh battery which lasts a fairly long time and it's also compatible with Windows and Mac. I've kept it out on my desk for the time being. This will be my new keyboard for the foreseeable future. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful at all, or if you enjoyed any part of it, or just enjoy supporting small creators like me, please go ahead and leave a like on the video. Consider subscribing to the channel with your notifications on, that way you never miss any future uploads. Thanks to each and every one of you guys for watching, and until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.